Hi, my name is Nola, a volunteer with the Medical Reserve Corps of Greater Kansas City. In this video, we will give general information about working with children in a disaster shelter. Disasters can affect children in a variety of ways. Whether a child has personally experienced a disaster or has just heard it being discussed by surrounding adults, they can feel frightened, confused, and insecure. Children often take cues from their parent or caregiver when it comes to coping with a disaster. If a parent or caregiver is present with a child, make sure to note the reactions of the adult to the disaster and give support as needed. If a child is present without a parent, reassure the child that efforts are being made to contact their parent or another family member. A child without a parent will need closer monitoring until either a caregiver can be found or other arrangements can be made for the care of the child. It is natural for children in different age groups to experience disasters in different ways. They will likely react differently too. Infants may be irritable and cry more than usual. Also, their sleeping habits may change. Young children are not able to grasp the concept of permanent loss. They often confuse reality with fantasy. They also have a fear of abandonment, which may result in them clinging more to their caregivers than usual. Children in this age group may reenact any trauma that they have experienced through their play. Children of elementary age may react to disasters with a wide range of emotions, irritability, sadness, fear, and anger, to name a few. They may become preoccupied with the event. They may also exhibit regressive behaviors, and they may pay particular attention to adult roles, such as first responders. Teenagers can be overwhelmed by emotion following a disaster. They may respond to this in very different ways, such as becoming detached or by becoming very involved. Teens could turn to risk-taking behaviors or develop fears of going out into a world that is unsafe. The following are tips to keep in mind when working with children after a disaster. Provide a peaceful environment if possible, especially for infants and young children. Provide reassurance and encourage their caregivers to be reassuring. Establish a normal routine. Limit exposure to media. Encourage young children and elementary aged children to express their thoughts through play, drama, and art. Allow teens the opportunity to talk about what is happening. Look for ways that elementary aged children and teens can help. Allowing them to help will let them feel that they are contributing to restoring family and community life. Teens may want to serve actively in the response with adults, but make sure they have downtime as well.